Are we ready? In the beginning, there was a tree, an autumn tree. That is how this video essay could have started. But it is already the beginning of another film, Allergy of a Voyage, Alexander Sokurov's 2001 essayistic travelogue that took him from Russia to Rotterdam, by train and by road, to end in the Boymans Museum in front of a painting. This is another story about another journey. Today we embark on a freight ship. We travel in revolutionary style. But it begins with that same painting. What's past is prologue. Да, я слушаю. Слушаю, добрый день. Только покороче, пожалуйста. To make this video essay, we wanted to see Allergy of a Voyage again. But the DVD was out of stock. And according to the blog of producer Case Cassandra, it was still 2014. The archivist of the Boymans told us that he was worried that the old VHS videotape in the archive was moldy and dusty by now. Downloading from a torrent site was not really an option legal and tricky and it will also take three weeks. The version on YouTube had lost all its color. The red apples on that tree looked anemic and ashy. I'm sure they would have tasted bitter and stale. We sent an email to ask Sukurov if he could bring a DVD to Rotterdam. He would come to Rotterdam, wouldn't he? The city where he fell in love with Bruegel's Tower of Babylon? The painting that inspired Allergy of a Voyage? Where is that film? Where is that film now? This is how our quest started. We wanted to see a film. We'd seen it before, but where is it now? Now that it is no longer available to watch. Where do films go when no one wants to pay anymore to see them, to screen them? Did we have to steal it? But from whom? Who does a film belong to? When they say it's all in the eye of the beholder, who beholds the film once the eye is gone? When there's no one there to see, can the film still see me? When the hommes are dead, Ils entrent dans l'histoire. Quand les statues sont mortes, elles entrent dans l'art. Cette botanique de la mort, c'est ce que nous appelons la culture. Un objet est mort quand le regard vivant qui se posait sur lui a disparu. Et quand nous aurons disparu, nos objets iront là où nous envoyons ceux des nègres, au musée. Bien sûr, c'est moi qui ai amené tout ça ici. Ça Toutes ces sculptures viennent de mes campagnes. Voilà, c'est mon couronnement. La beauté idéale. C'est moi. There is a fantastic quote by Mark Getty, who is the the owner of Getty Images, which is a huge corporate image database, and he's one of the largest intellectual proprietors in the world. He once said, intellectual property is the oil of the 21st century. It's a fantastic quote. You can condense it to one word, that is war. He declared war with that, saying, we will fight for this stuff, these completely hallucinatory rights to images, ideas, texts, thoughts, inventions, just as we're fighting now for access to natural resources. He declared war. Liberty, equality, fraternity. Свобода, равенство, братство. 
Марианна, дорогая, ну не до шуток мне. An art student worked here for a while. I liked him. He was a punk kid, just as I'd been once. He thought the museum was a bit ridiculous. He said when he looked at the paintings, he mostly just saw money, or more accurately, things standing in for money. I guess this was what he had learned at university. He said this was clearest in Dutch still lifes, which were essentially just piled up possessions of the newly rich of that time. He said these were no different than if someone today were to paint a pile of Rolex watches, champagne bottles and a flat screen TV, that they were the rap star videos of their day. And he said they were only less subtle versions of all the other commodities the museum was hoarding and this was now just part of the way things were disguised in the time of late capitalism. He was also unhappy about the cost of museum admission. I agreed it would be nicer if it was free, but he was a big fan of the movies, and I had to remind him they cost as much, and he didn't complain about that. Yeah, you can't win, he said, but maybe someday everyone will lose less and museums and movies could both be free. We got to wondering how museums began, and he looked it up and was pleasantly surprised to report that because of the French Revolution the Louvre became what is considered to be one of the first truly public art museums, made with the idea that art should be accessible to the people, not just tied up in the private rooms of the rich. Well, you know, we didn't make any money on it, but at the same time, people saw it all over the place because they see it on bootleg out there and everything. So it's like, you know, so I'm, you know, I have a lot of Chinese fans who go out and watch, you just buy my movies on the street and watch them, and I'm okay with that. I mean, the thing is, I'm not okay with it in other places, but, you know, if the government's going to censor me, then I want the people to see it in a way they can. Цели государства и искусства редко совпадают. Нечеловеческое это дело перетаскивать через океаны искусства. In what torn ship soever I embark, that ship shall be my emblem of thy ark. Музей Эрмитаж. Русское возрождение. Вмерз в историю Ленинградской блокады. А это Леонардо. Боже, здесь был Леонардо. Who? owns these words, these histories, these magnificent works of art. Is it the dead Tsar, or is heirloom, the state or the museum visitors, the citizens of St. Petersburg, or the wealthy tourists? Do they belong to the children of the artists, or the grandchildren of the portrayed? Or do the many cats that roam through the basement and the galleries have a say in it all? Вечная жизнь. Не я ли когда-то написал эту картину? Астрофизика, физиология, теология, систематика, филология, космология, механика, логика, поэтика, технология. Ici se préfigure un temps où toutes les énigmes seront résolues. Un temps où cet univers et quelques autres nous livreront leurs clés. And who, at the end of the day, has the right to sing Happy Birthday? Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Can we make Godard and Sukurov say everything we want to? And would you believe us when we said these are their words? <laughs>